Hi friends, it's been a pretty big few months here at Wishlist and we have raised a lot of money thanks to our mates at MixFM. Give me five, it's back and it's been big. Our tally reveal on Friday announced a whopping $531,033 raised in just one month by the Coast's favourite fundraising appeal. Every cent will be directed to equipment and resources for the areas in our local hospitals that look after our kids. From the $32,000 giraffe resus unit for emergency and a portable ultrasound and arterial blood gas analyzer for the maternity ward at SKU, to the $125 Buzzy Bee distraction devices and colouring kits for treatment and waiting areas across our hospitals. We're holding a breech baby workshop for 30 staff later this year, costing around $28,000. We're also introducing two years of physio support to the paediatric continence team. Continence issues affect kids physically and psychologically, and the longer the issue goes on, the more impact it has. This simple resource often makes the world of difference, but right now families must travel to Brisbane to access physio support for continence issues at a public hospital. We're changing that, thanks to MixFM's Give Me Five. But most exciting of all, is that this year we're directing big dollars to the biggest issue our hospitals face at the moment, the scarily high numbers of child and adolescent mental health patients. So with $440,000, we'll be establishing a small team to set up and oversee youth advisory groups to give our consumers, our struggling teens, a voice to help make the process better for those going through a similar experience. The team will also manage parental resilience groups bringing parents together for some advice, counselling and coping strategies to help their families. Thanks to another donation from the Lestari Foundation, we will be expanding our local clown doctor service, fully funded by Wishlist, into the child and youth mental health space by one day a week for 12 months. It's a first for Queensland and we're really excited to help this cohort of deserving kids. These groups, the work our local clown doctors will be doing outside the wards, will all form part of the services offered to patients, families and staff within Wishlist Centre when it opens mid next year. The build begins on our full storey accommodation facility next month and will add another 18 modern, spacious, flexible room options to patients needing to be close to school and their families. Our ground floor GP practice and a special one at that will offer an abundance of support to our guests staying in the rooms above and to the entire precinct. But the most exciting aspect of our centre is the podium level where all the magic happens. Our guests have the option to cook a meal, exercise, relax in the communal indoor and outdoor space across all levels of the building, or avail themselves of a range of complementary services offering the physical, psychological, emotional and spiritual support needed by families experiencing a health crisis. The social enterprise opportunities available to us, vocational pathways offered by our partners and activities within the centre all work towards supporting young people needing a hand. Wishlist Centre allows Wishlist to collaborate, innovate and up the ante in terms of how we support our hospitals, but most importantly the families that need them. This is all possible thanks to Member for Fisher Andrew Wallace and the Commonwealth Government who committed $12 million to the project. But we need another $2 million to make Wishlist Centre all it can be. We've had three donors commit to a room already and we've recently received a significant bequest. The gift and a will was received when we needed it most. And let me tell you, we plan to honour this man and the legacy he has left for countless families in the centre. He's quite the hero to us all. We didn't know him, but I like to think that if he knew he had a hand in providing a comfortable bed, warm meal, and some company to an old man facing surgery the next day, or to a family needing to be together while mum endures cancer treatment, he'd feel quite chuffed. If he knew he'd helped facilitate the coming together of like-minded charities to introduce some pampering to an exhausted carer, some counselling to a mum supporting her sick teenager, emotional support to the younger brother of a teen with an eating disorder, or some pampering to a cancer patient, he would smile. Because that's what we do together. We make a very real difference to those who need a hand during a health crisis. Thanks to everyone who gave to Mix Events Give Me Five this year. 
Thanks to Mix FM, who don't need to devote an entire month of their time to bettering our community each year, but they do. Every year, and families across the coast owe a debt of enormous gratitude to the Mix team, and all the regular givers, like Norellan Pools, Froman Rubber Industries, Sunshine Toyota, for the impact Mix FM's Give Me Five has had on our local health service, there's no doubt. But of course, it's not all about the kids. A few other things we've bought include another portable ultrasound to help mums in regional areas, thanks to the wonderful Woolworths Easter Token Appeal. We funded 20 blood pressure monitors to loan to heart patients for a three month period, so they can closely monitor their blood pressure while medications for their heart are adjusted. $119,000 for three scope guides to make colonoscopy and enteroscopy procedures easier for us all. $70,000 for a specialised spinal bed for the intensive care unit to help safely turn patients who have unstable spines. $3,350 for some aesthetic improvements to the Gympie Hospital mortuary. A $40,000 transonic machine, which is a piece of equipment to help renal unit patients. It's really amazing. $6,500 for the Brain Trainer Plus program to help stroke patients in their recovery. $9,350 for an Accuvane for the Adam Crosby Centre to aid in easier cannulation of patients. $70,000 for even more ophthalmology equipment to help diagnose and treat patients with side issues. Some of you might recall we directed more than half a million dollars to this service since the House the Coast built in 2011. Thanks again, Osbar Home. And with our continued support of the service, we build on reducing the need for patients, often elderly, to have to travel to Brisbane for eye surgery. We have a new funding round open, also our annual research round in collaboration with Certif, and a lot more planned for the year. Exciting new ways to support patients, families, and staff of our hospitals. So stay tuned. Consider a small regular gift to wish list. It's tax deductible and you know it's all directed every cent to our wide and varied causes across hospitals from Caloundra to Gympie. Stay safe and well and thank you for all you do for Wishlist.